guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm doing another Before It's Out episode. And if you guys don't know what Before It's Out is, basically it's a web series where I'm taking a look at a Transformers toy before it gets released, so take everything with a grain of salt. Today we are taking a look at the Leader Class Generations Rodimus Prime, which is kind of funny because I just bought the Titans Returns Hot Rod a couple weeks ago because I don't have a good sized Hot Rod in my collection, and then this shows up and it does both Hot Rod and Rodimus. Uh, you can take the Hot Rod and you can combine it with the Rodimus uh, base set, and you can fill out the gaps to make a full-on Rodimus Prime, so I think that's pretty awesome. And I forgot to mention with the Optimus Prime, and this as well, all the Leader Class figures will come with the Matrix of Leadership frame, and inside it you can replace it with one of the Prime Masters or whatever can actually fit inside there. So anyways, take a look at this. Uh, the alt mode for the Hot Rod looks very nice, very clean. I like the aesthetic of it, I like the look of it, I love the style, I think it's just amazing to look at. It really looks like the original Hot Rod. Uh, it's got the big spoiler wings, which is great. The nice uh, big smoke whatever pipes on the side, which look very nice. Um, unfortunately, I can't find a stock image of the Hot Rod itself to use. Uh, just go to Google, but the Hot Rod itself looks fantastic. It looks like Hot Rod, even more so than the, uh, the Titans Returns one. So I'm kind of jealous that I didn't get this one right away, but it still looks cool. It's got the nice shaping to it, the nice design, the legs, and the arms and everything and this is also supposed to combine with the trailer itself which is amazing now Rodimus Prime with the trailer itself that forms the the majority of uh, Rodimus Prime uh, looks pretty cool uh, the pipes don't really follow up with the the thing too well uh, I think they could have changed it up to look a little better but overall it's not bad I like the flames coming off the side uh, I think that's really cool and just overall, you know, I'm pretty excited. Uh, and then taking a look at the Rodimus Prime itself looks amazing. And it comes in three parts too, so it's not just the one set. Uh, you got the lower arms that connect to the legs and then you have the uh, lower body and then some bit of the chest uh, that forms up top and, and then Hot Rod would form the majority of the chest. Um, and then the shoulders, so that's pretty cool. And design-wise, it looks very nice. It looks like uh, Rodimus Prime now. It's got a huge chunk of kibble on the back. Honestly, with everything going on and them trying to make a, a simple transformer, like I know a third-party company can do a really complex transformer out of this, but as far as a Hasbro design is concerned, this is really not too bad. Um, I love the head, I love the design, I love how it even flows, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can notice that the arms are underneath the chest, but you know what? You're going to get some of that, you're going to get some aesthetic looks that aren't really uh, too pleasing. I mean, uh, once you flip up and reveal the Matrix, I mean, you can see Hot Rod right there. So overall, I think it's really cool. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for Rodimus Prime. What do you guys think? I just, I want a Hot Rod and a Rodimus Prime. I, I think that's cool that we're getting a set with both. So you're getting that for the price of just a leader class toy. I think that's a good, good set. So with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes, and we'll see you guys next time.